We'll be discussing artist Lynn Emery and her work outside the Science and Technology Building here at Lamar University. I begin with an excerpt by John R. Kemp about this week's artist. Lynn Emery's graceful kinetic work is to sculpture what ballet is to dance, a spiritual song to music, or a warm breeze to a summer day. Her delicately balanced, monumental, polished aluminum creations sway and dance silently in currents of wind, much like a sweet fragrance moving silently through a memory. Her work is about grace, form, and motion with an unspoken spiritual connection between the artist, metal, and nature. Lynn Emery was born May 20th, 1926 in New York and lived most of her childhood in between New York and Florida. At age 15, she entered Columbia University in New York City, followed by a string of other colleges, including Syracuse University, the University of New Mexico, and two schools in Chicago. Finally, she attended the Sorbonne in Paris, France in the late 1940s, all while studying languages and comparative religions. She began her art career at age 23, on a whim, some say, wandering into the studio of Russian sculptor Osip Zakin out of curiosity. Zakin decided to take her on as a student to show her what he could do with a neophyte, she says. She found that not only did she like sculpture, but she had quite a natural talent for the medium. In 1951, Emery returned to New Orleans, where she had lived briefly just after attending Syracuse. There she found considerable work sculpting life-size religious figures commissioned for churches in the city and throughout the nation. In the changing art world in the 1950s, however, Emery's interest turned away from her figurative work. She became more interested in abstract designs created through welding metal frameworks. Emery found her voice in sculpture, whether staging a protest or exploring nature. Over the years, Emery, who loved ballet and music, explored various ways to give an almost theatrical motion to her art through hidden magnets, water, and wind. Today, her mostly wind-powered monumental environmental forms seem suspended between physics and alchemy, intellect and poetry. The elegance and grace in Emery's work can distract the viewer from the underlying meticulous craftsmanship and mathematical exactness of her industrial-like fabrications. Sculpture, she says, is living, it's vital, it's changeable. Even when you walk around it, it can be something different. Drawing is a reflection and coordinating eye and hand, but sculpture is your mind and an idea. In sculpture, you're solving problems and making shapes from nothing. Emery overcame discrimination as a woman in what was a male-dominated field to forge a successful career. She kept working well into her 90s at her studio in New Orleans until her death in March of 2021, designing work for hospitals, cities, and private clients. She was asked in 2016 whether she had any one-piece commission or honor of which she was particularly proud of, and she said, Not really. I'm always hoping to do better. She's exhibited work throughout the United States and in England, Japan, Australia, Germany, and France. She received the Louisiana Governor's Award in 2001, an honorary doctorate from Loyola University of New Orleans in 2004, and the National Academy Museum of New York Sculpture Award, among others. You may view her piece on display here at Lamar University 
at the Science and Technology Building. But to see more, you can travel over to Louisiana where her work is statewide. She can be seen at the New Orleans Museum of Art, the Louisiana State Library in Baton Rouge, the Neurological Hospital in Lafayette, the Renaissance Arts Hotel, and the Intercontinental Hotel in New Orleans, among many other locations. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of Highlights from the Permanent Collection. We'll see you next time.